You said that you are exploring the virtualization side from 1997. Am I correct? Uh, when do you think you will become a serious uh, competitor to VMware? Sure. Microsoft's approach to virtualization is uh, comprehensive. We firmly believe that server virtualization plays a critical role in any organization's all of strategy. But if the offer isn't tied in with presentation tier virtualization, application to application virtualization, virtual PC technology, and wrapped with a comprehensive management architecture around it, it allows an organization to manage not just their virtualized environments, but to do it together with their physical environments. We think we have a very unique and compelling set of offers that we're bringing to market. Well, so there's a couple of interesting the thoughts. Thing, actually, HP says the same thing, that they are uh, managing also the physical environment and the virtual one. Sure. What's really interesting, uh, one of the other statistics that I brought up, depending upon sort of which um, set of uh, research you look at, somewhere between 5 and 10 percent of all of the servers around the world are virtualized today. Microsoft estimates, Microsoft's estimate is that more than 90 percent of those servers are Windows server based. So if you're an organization that has skills and expertise and investment in terms of your people, your applications, your technology set in the Windows platform, we think we have a very strong offer for our organizations to help them move towards a virtualized environment without having to learn a brand new set of tools. And so we think that's one of the things that's very compelling. The other thing that's very interesting is around price. And as I speak to customers and talk about their virtualization strategy and organizations uh, that are adopting it, one of the key uh, inhibitors of mass adoption is price. And so Microsoft's combination of Windows Server 2008 with Hyper-V and our system center technology set, we think is approximately one-third of the price of the leading competitor in the virtualization space. This is a long journey. We're at the very beginning of a wave of virtualizing environments. Hyper-V is going to usher in and really democratize how organizations can swiftly, cost-effectively bring this into their organization. And then if we look at a CEE perspective, um, in CEE, just our region, less than 2% of our servers are virtualized today. So when you look at that market, um, we have a very, very uh, fresh new market where there's a lot of potential and really not that much leadership yet in this area. So we feel that Microsoft and Central Eastern Europe can do a lot to really help our customers make this easier, help them save money, um, and, you know, one of the most important things here in Europe that I've found that I've moved here is, is really about the green and how are we helping the environment. And this new Windows Server 2008 and with virtualization and Hyper-V, we're really going to do the things that are needed in the data center and in our organizations to really help drive down the cost and really help the environment. Odată cu lansarea acestei platforme de business, competiționați cu companii lideri ca Vimeware în virtualizare, Adobe în media, cu ce veniți noastră în plus? Adică numai prețul scăzut nu cred că este un atu pentru ca marile companii să renunțe la produsele profesionale pe care le aveau și să treacă la un, o aplicație Microsoft. Well, certainly it's an incredibly competitive environment with major industry vendors uh, innovating and local vendors innovating for enterprises to absorb uh, and we enjoy and embrace that level of competition that's what pushes us forward to uh, with our R&D agenda that's what pushes us to uh, have our developers think of new ways to help businesses be successful so I think at a top level uh, what organizations are telling us is they they need ways to help them control costs they need ways to increase the agility of their data centers and their application sets. And so they're starting to look to vendors like Microsoft that can, working within their existing environment, allow them to make a transition. A transition from managing things on a physical basis to a virtualized basis, allowing them to build not just static siloed applications that require just one programming language, 
but actually a more comprehensive, versatile approach that allows them to embrace new paradigms very quickly and easily, leveraging what they know. Now, there are very few companies and major industry players that are actually thinking about both sides of that equation. And really unique to Microsoft uh, is an organization that's thinking about how to innovate in the data center with the approach that we have with Windows Server 2008, the integration of virtualization into the platform, the integration of the web application platform, the paradigm shifts in terms of manageability for real breakthroughs and cost savings, and at the same time, thinking about the applications that run on top of those servers. And thinking about the applications that run on top of those servers means a number of things. It means when you design an application, are you thinking about it in a way that allows it to be managed in a high-performant manner? When you build that application, are you doing it in a way that connects developers, architects, business leaders to understand what are the requirements of that going to be? And when you deploy it, can you do it in a way that's seamless? And all the while, future-proof yourself that you have a platform bet that can allow you to remain agile as new technology waves come across the board. So if you think about the reach from the web paradigm of uh, technologies like Silverlight, uh, all the way up through SQL Server, Visual Studio, and beyond, that's based basically on uh, one platform technology. It's called .NET. Today, more than 73% of all enterprises around the world are using .NET technologies for their mission-critical applications. And what that means is we usher in a new wave of technology sets. We're allowing organizations to leverage the skills and the developers and the people that they have today in a really interesting way. And as you build that application, we've already tested it in virtualized environments. We've already thought about how to manage it in a virtualized environment. We're pushing the paradigm in terms of how we bring some of those services into the cloud with a new approach in and around software plus services. So organizations are telling us that that's a very compelling uh, solution set that's increasing consideration of the Microsoft platform very deep into the most mission-critical workloads of the enterprise across the board.